Once they assess the depth, what do they do next? And also, is it just me or am I seeing a sheen on the water there in the delta outside the containment boom? Well, good call on two points, Lisa. One, they've put the boat on the side now to get their assessment done. And two, something we didn't see 11 days ago, we're seeing that sheen right there. So pollution, definitely a concern. So they're going to have to work fast to make sure that this gets contained and doesn't make this spill any worse than it already is, to be honest with you. But let's get around, I'll fly, you kind of see the sheen there. So let me fly the helicopter around to the other side of the boat here. Now, right there, you're seeing a lot of bubbles. Those mm -hmm. are divers down there hmm. doing their work. And we saw one come up and surface just a bit ago, walk around and get on the other side of the boat. But there's a lot of activity you can see on the barge. There are a lot of workers. There's a gentleman in a gray shirt down there, or gray heavy shirt, actually. He's a welder. Mm -hmm. And what he's going to be doing is welding some connecting points on there. There's a couple things they have to do for the safety of this. No matter what they do for the boat, they're going to have to put some mooring points on there. And then they're going to have to secure the boat somehow. So if they do right it, it doesn't float on down the river. And if they don't right it, it still stays where it is. You, you don't want that boat moving away while you're trying to conduct your salvage operation. So again, you can see the boat is on its side right now. You can see the water bubbling up right there from the divers that are down there doing their assessments. So a lot of activity today. And like we say, unfortunately, we're seeing kind of that sheen over there, but uh, definitely there is progress being made on getting this boat removed. Now, there are additional safety concerns, and that's that this is a waterway hazard. So I'm going to have Mike pull out here, and we're going to show you what they're doing. There are a lot of Coast Guard and police units around here. Up river, there's only a couple of down river, but up river is where most of the traffic comes. So Mike, go ahead and pan to the right. There's one of the small boats right there. These are making sure that people who are navigating this area do so in a safe manner. There are three or four more that are just slightly upstream even from that. So lots of police protection on this to protect that salvage operation. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and move back to the boat right now and we'll just kind of look at what those operations are doing again. Dave, since you've been covering this from the air from the very beginning, because it's a very hard location to get to, is, so this is the first time you've seen that sheen that we're seeing right now? It definitely is. We mm -hmm. didn't see any when the boat first capsized, right. and we didn't see any when we were down here just a, a few days after that. But today we're seeing it, and this could have been some that was kind of in the sediment down there and right. got churned up when they when they righted the boat. So it isn't necessarily coming from the boat itself per se, but you know this is what they want to assess. You know what is the actual damage underneath there? Right. So that's and what get our that, divers are down there doing. And get that river depth. All right, Dave Allen, thank you so much for the live report from Live Copter 3 and giving us a view you can really only see from Live Copter 3 in the air. Thank you.